One of the things I want to real quickly discuss here is that there are Cat6 cables that have the spline in them, a pair separator. And this is important because that spline cannot be placed up on top of this area here. It, it's, it's because what's going to happen is when you shut the easy snap jack, this cable at this end on, on, on top of this shelf, based on how the inside of this uh, jack is made, the cable needs to be able to squash down. And if the pair separator, the spline, stays up in this area of the cable, it's not going to squash down. And when you close your jack and snap it, it will have a tendency, one, to snap open, if not then later, because of the pressure there. Also, it's probably not going to certify out because the contacts aren't able to seat where they belong to make good connectivity with each uh, uh, conductor because of the spline there not letting the uh, jack close 100%. So let's get rid of the spline like we normally would. Bring these down and carefully when you do this because you don't want to nick the conductors. And I'm cutting each rib and then just twist it. It comes apart. Now, let's bring these back together. And I want to get this jacket up to about right here. So I'm going to use this right here. And it's, some cables work easier, but here's what I'm going to do. See how I'm stretching the jacket? I'm pulling on it. And about right there. So here we are. I can feel my spline. My spline is sitting right there. So that's where I want it. Now this will squash. So I'll separate my pairs down to that end. So prep it the same way. Now, my spline is sitting right there. And I got this free up here. I'm going to push it in and test it out. 